Today we are heading to the famous Steve Irwin Australia Zoo. Yeah, we're gonna see some amazing wildlife including kangaroos, snakes, wombats, and even koalas. The koalas sleep for 20 hours a day. 18 to 20 is what the guy said. So that sounds like a bit of me. I'd love to be a koala. <laughs> we even get a glimpse into the animal hospital. <laughs> we also continue to explore Brisbane and visit an interactive and immersive playground. She said it's a shoes off, socks on experience. <laughs> Good morning everyone, today is the day that we're off to the Australia Zoo. It's one of the days I've been so excited about, can't wait to see some kangaroos, can't wait to see some crocodiles, like it's just going to be such a good day, so we're heading there now, but it takes an hour and a half to get there, which is a little bit annoying, so we're like in Brisbane city centre, so if you drove I think it takes like an hour from here, but obviously we're going to get like buses and trains because it'll be a little bit cheaper than getting like an Uber, so it's going to take us a bit of time to get there, so it's currently 8am, so we're gonna leave now and hopefully get there around like half nine ten ish <laughs> made it to Australia Zoo. Crikey! <laughs> so we're gonna have a little wander around the lizard part and the otter part first um because that's like right near the entrance and then we want to go see the tiger show um because there's so many different shows that they do here also the train journey here was not bad at all like it went so quickly and then when we arrived at the train station there was just a shuttle straight to the zoo which was amazing so yeah, and it was free as well, which is great. Way easier than I expected to get here. I'm so excited to see the crocodiles. I think that's what I'm really excited it's about. Crocodile, it's just that American crocodile. Is that? Size of this lizard. Like, he's just living his best life, chilling in the sun. So we're currently looking at the Komodo dragons. And look. At it. It's massive. It's actually kind of like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Are you most excited to see? Um, probably a crocodile show. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, I reckon it'll be pretty sick. So this is the Irwin family and that is Steve Irwin. Anyone that doesn't know Steve Irwin, he is mostly known from his television series called The Crocodile Hunter. Steve Irwin spent months on end living in remote areas in North Queensland catching problem crocodiles for the Queensland government. He developed crocodile capture and management techniques that are now utilised all around the world. In 2006, whilst filming a documentary about Australia's Great Barrier Reef, Steve Irwin was snorkelling near a stingray and he he was pierced by a barb which then hit his heart. Tragically, he died of cardiac arrest shortly after being stung. However, his family continued to run Australia Zoo and strive to achieve all the goals that Steve hoped to attain, which is so amazing to still see. Oh my gosh, no! So cute, aren't they? They're the cutest, aren't they? He's on the tree. Oh yeah. Right, we're now heading to the tiger show. Mm. Let's go see. See what's popping. It's very busy. <laughs> Welcome to our tiger temple today. Is everyone having a good day at the zoo so far? Yeah. yeah. Um, so they don't often hunt in the trees, but they uh, can climb up to try and chase any animals out to scrape off every last little bit of meat. Because it could be another week or two until uh, they get another um, kill there. But our tigers here at the zoo are quite spoiled. They get fed almost every single day. They do have a couple of days where they don't get fed and these are kind of fast days or starved days. And that is just to aid in their digestion. And that is exactly what Sally's doing right now. She is hunting and stalking her prey. So she knows that that ball is moving nice and slowly over towards her there. So tigers are a very patient hunter. So she's probably gonna wait until that ball is a little bit closer to her. In fact, I'll move over this side in case she does jump on that there so everyone can see. You can see her just trying not to get those front paws wet. And you can see that jaw strength as well. So that is a very heavy toy. She's gonna have to get in there. Oh no, there we go. She's wet now, so hopefully she'll go in. She can't get it out. So you can see just how strong those teeth and those jaws are. So that is a very heavy toy and full of water. So you can see just how strong she is. Let's give her a round of applause. Yeah, she's done a good job with that one today. 
was so cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the way sick. the tiger like pounced on that big ball thing in the water. Yeah, it's it so was strong. Like, yeah, like and he just like fully well she she fully like pulled it out. It was like they're so strong, so powerful. Yeah, it's my turn. Alright, my turn. Look at the cute little turtles. So cute. Freshwater turtles. That's so cute. Oh, come on. This is ever hooked teeth so they can hold the prey and they wrap their bodies around it and suffocate it. That's so nice. <laughs> I guess that's why it's a constrictor. Yeah. It constricts the blood flow. I think I'm actually really scared of snakes. But looking at our snake in there, I'm just like, oh, no, I'm thank you. Fan. Size of this tortoise is crazy. I never realised they were that big. We're now going in the koala walkthrough. This zoo is over 700 acres. 700 acres of this zoo? And 110 are public, so they obviously have so much more land. Yeah. The koalas sleep for 20 hours a day. 18 to 20 is what the guy said. So that sounds like a bit of me. I'd love to be a koala. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just in the kangaroo sanctuary. And this is our first ever time seeing a kangaroo. Hello. <laughs> it's just chilling out. This is a wombat. It looks like a giant hamster. The size of this snake is crazy. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's weird that like tigers and stuff don't scare me where they could literally kill you. Whereas like snakes, mm, I mean they could kill you too, like but yeah, it's really weird. Strong, average. She's great, if you're Mine's pretty good. Mine's like an 8 out of 10. I went for a warm one, you know. Standard. We're currently waiting for the crocodile show. Hopefully it's good. Most crocodile. Really good. It's not just crocodiles. Is it not? Snakes. Oh, birds. Wow. I think this is going to be good. This is the thing that I've been most excited about. Well, that's a lie. I've been excited about a lot, but <laughs> this is like the number one thing that I was like, we need to make sure we don't miss this show. <laughs> Yeah, so we're here 45 minutes yeah, early. We're here early. <laughs> Woo! Good day, guys, and welcome to the Sky Zoo. And welcome to our world famous Crop Museum. And if you're lucky, you might spot a beautiful Brownie kite just like fire in here. You can see 
Oh, I'm so close to him and how reluctant he actually is to come out of the water. Check the fish out, mate. Look, look at the little chicken legs just behind the fish. I don't really like it. There we go. There you go, take it. Oh, yeah, give it up for him. What an awesome crocodile. Size of this crocodile. Wow. The crocodile show was amazing. Yeah, the the so strength good. of their jaw is insane. Yeah, I can't remember what you said now, but it's like the strongest on earth, isn't it? Yeah. I was expecting the show to be good. It was even better. Like, what, so much more going on. I genuinely thought it was just going to be crocodiles. Yeah. Um, but then they also had all the birds and everything, which were really cool. Snakes. And snakes, yeah. So we're now in another kangaroo and wallaby section. There's some over here. Oh, so you can. Arms. They're like so cute. Are these wallabies? These, uh, yeah, it's got to be a wallaby, isn't it? You can get close to these um, and you can actually stroke them, but obviously you just got to be careful. Yeah, they look a bit wary. We yeah. won't spook them. Look how cute they are. Hello. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute, they're little jumps. They're so cute. Really? Oh, yeah. I was loving it, Denise. I was loving it. They're just so chill, aren't they? We're just at the koala nursery, and this one's having a snack. We haven't seen any of yet. No. And there's some up there as well. <laughs> they usually like, say so fluffy. Yeah, like, you can just, cookie, yeah. Isn't it koalas that carry like within you or something? What? <laughs> <laughs> they actually move quite fast. So, what was the consensus on the chlamydia with koalas? Yeah, koalas carry chlamydia. And even after antibiotics, quite often they get it back again, but it can't be transmitted to humans or something. Oh, there we go then. See, I knew I'd heard of it somewhere. <laughs> I said it and you're like, what? what? Today has been such a good day. So on the way out of the zoo, we went to the animal care centre where they like look after injured animals and also perform surgeries and all of that sort of stuff. So we had a little sneak peek into there. They weren't doing any sort of surgeries or anything, which I'm kind of glad about because I didn't really fancy seeing that sort of thing. But there was a koala with a fractured leg and it actually like started walking around like it was so cute so yeah i'm very glad that we did go in there and see that and it only cost an extra two dollars on our price of our ticket so including that the ticket house mountain station mind the gap so the tickets cost us 66 dollars which included obviously that um little sneak peek into the hospital so yeah i don't think that's too bad to be honest like it's been such a good day yeah, and good. definitely recommend if you're coming to like brisbane or anywhere like that so we're currently on the train now heading back to brisbane and it's going to be like an hour and a half journey which to be honest a little bit annoying but you know totally worth it i don't know where you'd stay to like stay near it it's kind if of like do. If you stay in Sunshine Coast, I think it's 30 minutes. Ah, oh, so if you're going to Sunshine Coast, it's probably better to go from there. Good morning, everyone. So it's now the next day, and we made it back from the zoo. We just pretty much chilled for the rest of the evening. Um, yesterday was just such a good day. I'm always a bit cautious of going to zoos and, like, places like that, just because you can never tell whether it's actually legitimate unlike whether they're actually kind to the animals or if it's like a scheme to make money basically and that's what we found especially like in thailand and places like that you have to be so careful when you do anything with animals like we went to the elephant sanctuary in thailand and we just did so much research and ended up finding a really good sanctuary but there's so many like things out there that involve animals that are like horrendous so before we go to zoos or anything like that i always am a bit like cautious about it um but honestly yesterday was the best day like they're so kind to all the animals and like the amount of animals that they've rescued and helped and like even the animal hospital like it really was such a good day i feel like this is one of my number one recommendations when you visit Australia, go into the Australia Zoo. But today we don't really have a solid plan today. We're just having like a chill day. Gonna be exploring Brisbane a little bit more. Jasper also went and got a haircut this morning, which actually was such a good haircut. I'll show you in a second. This is the current view today. It's very cloudy, but- it's warm though, tell it, don't, don't be fooled. What, it's warm? Yeah, I put, I put a pair of jeans on stupidly. Before I even got to the bridge, I was sweating. <laughs> It's like as warm as it has been just 
without the sun, oh, the sun is coming out actually. Yeah, like my by the time I got to the barbers, like my back was a bit sweaty. Not good. It was only a fifteen minute walk. Yeah, because it looks like it's not going to be that warm today, but it is. There we go. It's the fresh trim scene. You've got a sunglass, Mark. Yeah, I know. Just sat there. <laughs> I always forget I have it because once my hair starts growing, you can't see it, can you? <laughs> no. I get a haircut and it's like a line. Looks good oh, though. Yeah. Re resurrected it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. From the Sydney trim. Yeah, it's quite funny. He did say, oh, what did he say to me? Because I sat down, he asked me what I wanted. So I told him. Then I was like, oh, obviously, you can probably see how like choppy the top is from the last haircut. He's like, yeah, he's like, I didn't want to say anything, but fuck it now. <laughs> Coffee was really nice, I really liked it in there. It was called Picnic, just super cute decor, just a really nice cafe. But we are now heading to a place called Imaginaria, Imagineria. Something like Imagineria. Isn't Imagineria. It? Um, and it's basically, I don't know how to describe it, you're just gonna have to see it. Hopefully it should be good, but we've got about a 20 minute walk until we get there. This is it, although you gotta buy tickets online because the ticket office isn't open, so. It's $23.95. Tickets acquired, let's go. She said it's a shoes off, socks on experience. <laughs> yeah, interesting. <laughs> Whoa. So we're in the first room. It's really dark in here. We're waiting for a video to start. So let's sit down. Basically lots of different rooms that you go in. Whoa. This is cool. A music video. Yeah. <laughs> it's like moonwalk mirror. I feel like we're in like space. It is like space vibes, isn't it? It's like so eclipsy. <laughs> I'm actually losing it. Jasper's got the magic touch. You are right there, Jasper? <laughs> Just trying to, trying to work out. It does move, like, it does. Oh, yeah. That's so pretty. I don't know how, how I did that, but I did something. It sort of moves in a bit when you do that. <laughs> Swimming. So we've just come out of the Imaginaria and it was actually pretty cool to be fair. Yeah, like we read some reviews saying it was so short, like you literally can go around it in like 15 minutes, which I kind of agree. Like you could just speed for it, but I just don't think you'd want yeah, to. They're all like interactive, so you're supposed to stop and yeah. watch stuff or like relax or... We were in there for about an hour, so... Yeah, like at each one there's something I were to watch whilst you like chill. Yeah or there's something that's interactive. Welcome to the kitchen. So it's a couple of hours later. We just came back, showered, I washed my hair because it was looking a little bit greasy, you know? So. A little bit what? Greasy. A little bit greasy. A little bit greasy. So I'm currently cutting off an onion and we're actually making use of the kitchen in our Airbnb. I actually love having a kitchen. So we can like cook our own meals, you save a bit of money doing it that way. So we're just making ourselves some sausage pasta. Lovely, mate. Lovely. Jasper's on chef duty. 
No, you were supposed to be on the show. <laughs> this is what always happens. You just always take over. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You're like, you're not. Oh, I'm you're, just hurting my eyes. You're always. Oh. It's not current, is it? You're always like, you're not doing it right, and then you just have to get involved. <laughs> I'll happily go sit down, right? No. Got the onion and sausage cooking in there. Water is currently trying to boil. The sausage pasta is done. Actually, look pretty good. Right, who? Oh, Jasper's already eaten. I was going to say who's ready for a taste test, but Jasper's. It's nice. Is it good? Yeah. Mmm. That's actually well good, no? Yeah, it's really nice. Good morning everyone, welcome to another day in Brisbane. It's actually our final full day here, which has come around so quickly. Like, I can't believe another destination is gonna be ticked off. And yeah, it just feels really weird. Like, this is the end of Brisbane. We've got one more destination in Australia that we're going to, um, which I'm actually really excited about. And then we're heading to a new country after that. I feel like time's going so quickly, but when I think back to like when we first started travel, like we've done so much, it's crazy. I also do feel like though, even though I'm sad to be leaving Brisbane, I think Brisbane has been one of my least favorite locations. I just feel like there's not like tons to do like in actual Brisbane city centre. If you had a car, there's so much to do outside of the city, like in the suburbs and everything like that. But without a car, you end up having to get like buses and trains. And there's only one other thing that I found that I really want to do. And it's this like street food kind of market that happens at night. So we're thinking of going to that later. I don't think it opens until 4 p.m. So we've got pretty much a whole day before we go to that. So today we're just going to have a little wander around South Bank again because I did really like that area and get a coffee, usual, usual sort of chill day. And then yeah, head over to the market later and see what that's like. But apparently they do so many different types of like food, street food, like loads of different cuisines. So I think it should be good. because it started raining but it wasn't like it wasn't like pouring down with rain it was that fine mist that gets you absolutely so so we just made our way back towards the airbnb once we had a little wander around which was quite nice so it was nice to get out and about and then we were looking at where to go like how to get to this market turns out it's an hour bus like it's so weird in brisbane like everything is so spread out it must be quite a big city in itself and then obviously you've got loads of stuff just like going on in the suburbs and everything so we were sort of debating like because it's raining shall we go or not um and then as we were walking around south bank there's a little market there is one in south bank that's showing like a 15 minute walk from where we are so i think we're just going to go to that market instead they're putting up like little gazebos and stuff so hopefully it should be quite cute and let's just hope the rain holds up the clouds are not looking the best let me show you this is the uh current cloud situation not ideal but it doesn't look like it's raining right now so that's good. We're just walking to the market now, but look how pretty the skyline looks at night. It's so pretty. I actually love, I feel like cities like look really beautiful at night with all the lights. Yeah. It's so nice. Let's get in the market. We're just walking down the street and it feels like Christmas. Yeah, like with all of the lights. I love it, it's so pretty. And everyone so it is now the next day it's our final morning in brisbane we're just packing up the airbnb we've got like um, 45 minutes until we need to leave i always find like check out at 10 o'clock it's just too early for me maybe that's because 
I'm lazy and she'll probably wake up early. But like when checkouts at 10 a.m. I feel like we're always in such a rush. Like 11 a.m. is perfect. So you better get a move on. But the market last night was so cute. Like so many cute little stalls. We actually didn't end up buying anything because I kind of didn't really need anything. And also we're trying to cut weight in our luggage. So I think our cases are currently weighing like 26, 27. Um, but there's a destination that we're going to and soon actually like in the next few weeks and it was so much more expensive to have more than 23 kilograms so we kind of need to cut down so i need to stop buying things um because otherwise i'm just gonna have to be chucking clothes away and chucking toiletries away so anyway this is gonna be the end of the brisbane vlog i really hope you guys have enjoyed coming to the zoo with us like i feel like that was one of my highlights of brisbane was going to the zoo so good so good but thank you guys so much for watching and i shall see you all again very soon bye in the final episode in my australia series we visit a coastal town called early beach in hopes of visiting the best beach in australia and that is the whitehaven beach on whit sundays island but not everything goes quite as planned so the boat trip has been cancelled <laughs> <laughs>